、ドクターケープの特営級対策。本日は北朝鮮とアメリカの背景戦を日本です。これだけ見れば全部わかる。大事なところは全て抑えることができます。1. Explain the U.S. foreign policy toward North Korea under the Trump administration. 2. Explain North Korea's foreign policy in the recent past. 一つ目のエッセイではトランプ政権のやり方にフォーカスしています。1の1、予測不可な台風の目。1の2、核をやめろ、寒ないと。2、国際社会の仲間入り。3、日程調整までの道のり。4.2018 年、米朝首脳会談。5.2019 年2月、米朝会談決裂。6. 米朝間 DMZ 会合。では見ていきましょう。選挙活動の時からトランプはアブレイシブな発言がとっても目立ちましたね。とにかく彼は常に台風の目、注目のもとです。Even since the time of the 2016 electoral campaign, candidate Trump's approach toward East Asia has been abrasive, featuring dramatic and often crude initiatives that were hard to predict and that raised international tension. In each specific policy action, nevertheless, the president himself has remained at the center of attention. 北朝鮮の核兵器、これを何とかやめさせようと、前例のないほどの強いプレッシャーをかけていきます。Specifically toward North Korea, President Trump has adopted a policy of unprecedented military, economic, and diplomatic pressure to compel North Korea, directly as well as indirectly, through third party interventions, most notably, that of China, to halt its nuclear weapons program. In September 2017, Trump, addressing the UN General Assembly for the first time, threatened to totally destroy North Korea if the US should be forced to defend itself or its allies. 2019年、金正恩は数多くの首相と会談を持ちました。In early 2018, the Kim Jong Un government switched to a more forthcoming and moderate posture toward South Korea. In the following months, into 2019, the North Korean leader had numerous bilateral summit meetings with China, South Korea, and the Russian Federation. Needless to say, highlights included its bilateral summits with the U.S. トランプとの会談にはいろいろと日程調整の間で紆余曲折があったようです。Reportedly, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un initially wanted to meet Trump before May 2018, but the schedule was delayed to June. Then, observing joint military exercises between the US and South Korea, Kim threatened to pull out of the plan. In fact, it was Trump that announced the cancellation of its schedule in late May, but a week later he reinstituted it in Singapore after consulting with North Korean officials at the White House. メディアでも数多く取り上げられたこの2018年米朝首脳会談まだ記憶に新しいですね On June 12, 2018, Trump and Kim had the historic bilateral summit in Singapore Their joint declaration expressed the ambitious commitments to steering the US-North Korea relations from hostile confrontation to conciliatory cooperation While not being able to agree on concrete means to enforce their ambitious commitments, including the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, the summit purportedly eased tension on the Korean Peninsula. The summit indeed helped North Korea to halt testing of its ballistic missile and nuclear weapons, but it failed to resolve the long lasting diplomatic disputes. アメリカの要求は飲めないということで2019年の米朝会談は決裂に終わりました。The second summit, held in Hanoi, Vietnam, was a two day meeting on 27 February 28, 2019. It had been planned since the previous September. The leaders had intended to hold a signing ceremony on the second day. But North Korea could not accept US demand, resulting in an impasse. The summit ended without a signed agreement. Pyongyang soon began threatening to renew its weapon testing. 
。そして米朝韓 DMZ 会合。これは残念なことに何の成果も生み出さなかった。On June 26, 2019, it was announced that there were talks underway to hold the third U.S. North Korea summit. Trump previously contended in April 2019 that a third summit would be good. On June 30, 2019, Trump met Kim, a long South Korean president, Moon Jae in, at the demilitarized zone, DMZ, and briefly crossed the border line into the North Korean side of the DMZ. This meeting, however, did little to change the continuing impasse. ノースコリアの外交ですね。1. 全てはレジームサバイバーのために 2.WMD は取引材料 3. またしても睨み合いということでノースコリアのベースはもう何もかもレジームサバイバーこれが一番の最優先事項なんです。ノースコリアのリーダーは、トリショナルエンブレイスレジームサバイバーの最優先事項を持っているのです。Since the 1990s, they have used the specter of regime collapse due to serious famine to prompt its neighboring countries, notably South Korea and China, to provide advantageous trade and investment, as well as food aid and related assistance. At the same time, the country has expended enormously on military preparations, developing weapons of mass destruction WMD, in order to deter the US and other powers from attacking or forcing regime change. サポートとか補助金を得るために大量破壊兵器を、まあ、外交の取引材料として使ってるんですね。Seemingly, however, North Korea has wanted to use its growing WMD capacities for bargaining in its direct dialogue with the US.This is because the US has been still critically important in determining the aid programs in major international institutions. Furthermore, the US would be able to induce Japan, one of the world's major donors, to renew its stalled efforts to normalize relations with North Korea, possibly accompanied with large amounts of assistance. America and China are not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. It's not going to be able to do this. From early 2018, extraordinary diplomatic pressure applied by the Trump administration on North Korea and its official ally, China, somehow began to compel the country to soften its truculent foreign policy. We witnessed significant, but tentative, easing of tensions on the Korean peninsula, as well as North Korea's refraining, at least for a short while, new nuclear weapons and ballistic missile tests. However, during the bilateral summit in February 2019, North Korea's leader Kim Jong un faced an impasse in negotiations with U.S. President Trump, who disagreed to ease sanctions as demanded by Kim until the latter moved to end its nuclear weapons threat. The Korean Peninsula has since returned to a confrontational situation. はい、ここ数年のノースコリアの事実関係がスッキリと頭の中で整理されたかと思います。まあ、ノースコリアといえばサンクションだったり核だったり、まあ、キーワードいくつかあるので、これとまあ国連を関連付けていくっていうような本番ではですね、なると思います。はい、次回ですね、えっと、韓国にフォーカスしたエッセイになります。楽しみにお待ちください。Thank you for watching. I see you soon.